What's the world gonna look like in 20 years? Well, what if I told you that the future already exists because the world's smartest people are busy dreaming it and building it? The future is coming fast, and your world will never be the same. From Japan to Paris to Silicon Valley, scientists are creating revolutionary ways for us to communicate. Step inside a tele-existence machine that puts you in the same room with your buddies, even halfway around the world. Nice, I want to actually hang out at this big... I see the fish pass me. Jack into your computer and argue with an avatar. I was trying to be nice, but I'm not a machine. Blow stuff up with your brain. The more you concentrate, the harder the car gets. What? Listen. A plastic bunny in your house is talking to you. 60 degrees and partly cloudy. And forget the dog whisperer. Learn to speak pet with Fido. The future of communication. Imagine what the future holds. Airborne taxis, cities to flow. Puppies on a hovercraft. My name is Baratunde Thurston. As a journalist and blogger, I've made it my business to keep my finger on the pulse of technological change. What's the world going to look like in 2030? Get ready to see the future. More than any other creature, human beings are all about communication. We just can't shut up. From smoke signals and Morse code to the telephone and texting, we're always looking for a better way to get in touch. But in the future, we'll also be connecting to the machines and household objects around us, and they'll talk back. Your umbrella will tell you it's about to rain. A three-way virtual phone call will feel as real as being there. And kids will control toys just by changing their minds. So I'm standing in the middle of Tokyo, one of the most futuristic cities in the world, home of mobile broadcast television, giant billboards, and of course, Pokemon. And I'm excited to see what researchers in this city are doing with the future of social networking and connectivity. Today, when we watch TV, make a video conference call, or get on Facebook, we interface in two dimensions. Flat screens rule our interactions. It kind of limits our experience of whatever we see on the other end. But in the future, if a buyer is in Los Angeles, a manufacturer is in France, and the parent company is on 7th Avenue, their teleconference call will be a full 3D experience. This is not a Jedi Council fantasy. At Keio University, Professor Susumu Tachi is working on a giant leap in the way we communicate. Something he calls the Twister. This huge spinning cylinder is designed to immerse the user in a Star Trek-like holodeck experience. Twister is the uh, future television, okay. future computer console, right. and future telephone. The future telephone booth. I love that idea. What does Twister stand for? Tele-existence wide angle immersive stereoscope. Future spinning stereoscopic telephone booth. Yes, that's right. <laughs> All right. Most computers come with web cameras built in. Mm -hmm. What is the big advance with tele-existence? You have the 360-degree uh, panoramic stereo right. image without wearing any special eyeglasses. This is something I'm going to have to see to believe. Here, in the seat here. Going up! I like the squeaking sound. Inside the sleek cylinder of glass and aluminum, I'm surrounded by thousands of visible microchips. I actually feel like I'm in the future. Woohoo, here we go. There has to be a certain height to ride this thing. As the machine starts up and the cylinder rotates around me, I feel the surreal sensation of leaving the physical world behind. This is so freaky. It's like I want to launch into space. Let there be light. Surrounding me is a vivid, solid looking landscape I can move through as if I were there. Your TV can't do justice to the genuine 3D images of the Twister. 
nice. I want to actually hang out at this beach. Oh, this is my favorite scene. With oh, the yeah, fish. yes, yeah, yes, yes. What's really cool is I can turn and yeah, I see yeah, the yeah. fish pass me. And it's, yes. Whoa! It's a, it's a tunnel to the another space. So I actually feel like I'm teletransporting in that yes, tunnel. Yes, <laughs> teleportation. The image quality is not great, but the scope and depth of the 3D image is impressive. Here's how the Twister creates 3D without glasses. Vertical LED screens rotate around me at 1.7 revolutions per second. The rotating screens are interrupted by a parallax bar. Each of my eyes picks up one half of the image. The result is a wide-angle stereoscopic 3D image. We found that the, with using the mechanical system mm -hmm. joined with the computer system, we can have the three-dimensional images. Ah, so it's adding the computer systems to the mechanics. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, can you project forward in time mm -hmm. even farther? Mm -hmm. 10 years, 15 years, mm -hmm. if you can imagine it, even 20 mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. What do you hope to see or what do you expect to see mm -hmm. out of technology behind Twister? Yeah, the first one is the communication, face-to-face right. -face communication. Okay. This is what makes the Twister more than a theme park attraction. Professor Tachi plans to add a pair of cameras to record 3D images of you standing inside the machine and relay them to another Twister elsewhere in the world. With two, three, or more friends hooked up, a telephone call turns into a tele-existence experience. This is cool. I'm like selecting different journeys, and now I'm in an amusement park. Oh, yes, yes. Are you enjoying? Yeah. Oh, I see the Ferris wheel there. Do you also see the addition of other senses? Mm -hmm. So, for example, you know, temperature, smell, breeze. Yes, yeah. all, all together. Okay. All together. Micro vents could eventually pipe in smells like pine trees, fresh cut grass, or sea air. And silent fans inside the cylinder may create a gentle breeze, as if you and your telepresence pals had all met on the same beach. Right now, beaming your virtual bod into your friend's living room is still a work in progress. But with more R&D, tele-existence could someday become as routine as Twitter. We'll hook up and toss back a few with our pals in the reality of our choice without ever leaving the house. We could sightsee at Stonehenge. And the real breakthrough will come when this technology doesn't take up an entire room. Instead of a giant machine, the spinning LEDs will be embedded in a pair of spectacles that double as your phone. Mixed reality eyewear will allow you to see and talk to people as if they were right in front of you. Today, if your girlfriend and her BFF conference call you about what to wear to the party, you're no help. In the future, Twister glasses will let you see exactly what they have in mind. Can you hear me now will become can you experience me now. We've been promised the idea of long distance high fidelity communications for years, but we've had to do so with awkward goggles and lo-fi graphics. Now the graphics are pretty weak, they're like early 1990 stage video games. But we all know where video game graphics are today, so project 15, 20 years into the future from now. Look at the scene behind me. In the future, I won't have to come all the way here to experience here. That's what we're doing to our connections. The Twister will revolutionize conference calls in the future, but it won't eliminate one key ingredient, talking. What if you could communicate without using speech at all, using only your mind? There are ocean waves, sound waves, shock waves, and even doing the wave. But then there are brain waves. A firm called Neurosky wants to take these mental messages and use them to...